I think we can go ahead and start. Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, we've got another night full of Dawn of Sorrow ahead of us. <clears throat> and I should say that uh, if I'm coughing more than normal, I mowed the lawn today, and because this weak-ass body is allergic to all things grass and plants, my nose has been fucking dying ever since, and there's nothing I've been able to do to stop it. It's been so bad. <laughs> Literally, I just mowed the lawn. Why is why is my nose deciding? Eh, time to die, I guess. I didn't mow the lawn at 10. I mowed the lawn at like 3 today. <laughs> yes, I am fighting Leaf Blower Lady, but that is besides the point. <laughs> also, hello, Bee. Nice to see you. Uh, fuck. Where did... Where did I put the emulator? There it is. Found it! I know, it is a miracle. I give you ten minutes. <laughs> Alright, let's see. You only give yourself five? Alright. Good night, B. <laughs> Alright. While I load up the ROM here in a moment. Although this is a very awkward game for you to uh, suddenly join us for because it's the second one in a set. Without knowing the plot of Aria, the plot of this game is going to be nonsense. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, we're Dracula now, so that's what's happening here. It's 2036 and Dracula's decided it's twink time. Uh, I mean, you can see him on the top screen there. Thanks, Bat. <laughs> hey, we just got a level up on our Bat Soul. That's not too bad. Alright, now to remember where we have to go. I believe we have to head through... I think it's... Uh, is that area called the chapel in this game, or is it... I don't remember. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We drop in frames. The fuck was that? <laughs> um... Okay. For whatever reason, the bitrate of the stream just, like, plummeted for no reason. But it's fine. <clears throat> Let me know if the game's audio is a little loud, by the way. I haven't listened to these back yet, so... <laughs> In fact, I might actually want to drop it. If not for your guys' sake, then for mine. Because it is a little loud on my end. I like how that enemy has to stop and turn around and then it's allowed to die. Oh, thanks, Skeleton Ape. You're making my day. So much. Could you... There we go. <clears throat> Good 
Good night, Katobo Pass. Oh! Again, whatever would I do without you, Skeletonate? Really. Truly my favorite enemy. How did I miss that? Oh, wait a minute. I just realized we still have our luck stuff equipped from last time. There we go. I guess I'll stop off at the save point. Why not? <clears throat> Prepare for the crunch. Wasn't that bad that time. Uh, what would that be? Oh. Hey, Witch Soul! That ought to be pretty good. Should try it out at some point. Awesome, more of the best healing item. I'll take as much rotten meat as the game wants to offer me, honestly. That would be kind of neat. Uh, I would have to... That would make, like, a cool Patreon reward, actually, for those who want to, like, you know, be like, ooh, here's five bucks, and then they can be like, all right, now I'm on stream with you for a little bit. That'd be neat. I'd make a Patreon, but I feel like my base is so small. It's really, like, just, like, four people. <laughs> Alright, let's head down. I haven't even acknowledged our weapon yet. This crazy thing that we worked really hard to get. I don't think we've even seen the enemy that's required to upgrade this thing, so... Come here. There we go. Honestly, I've given a lot of thought about other types of content I'd love to produce. And, uh, one of them, like, I would definitely be interested in, like, being a guest on a pod, like, a podcast at one point, if anyone ever offered. I think that would be neat. I think podcasts are fun. Keep heading down here. That enemy is the guillotiner. We can get it to show up again. Uh, it separates and then attacks you from top and bottom. It's very annoying. Oh, okay. Yeah, knew that was coming. We can't do anything in this room yet. <clears throat> Left or right? Let's... Head off to the right. Shit. A scarf and then a mirror. Let's remember that there's a mirror in this room. Uh, red scarf. Better than what I have equipped in every way, shape, and form. So... Oh, 
Oh, hey! Bone pillar. Alright, now let's go ahead and put the skeleton and clear out the store. <clears throat> I don't want to keep the skeleton equipped. It's kind of bad. Let's re-equip the zombie. This, I can't get over how just completely broken the zombie soul is. With the right setup, if we were to level that thing up, man, it would probably be the best thing in the game. Goodbye. Oh, okay, Bone Dragon. Sure. Is that really all that's down here? Okay. We have to remember there's a mirror and a small gap in the wall. I believe for that small gap in the wall, we're going to have to beat a later boss. In fact, I know which boss. It's probably the most iconic boss, like, original to this game. Uh, it's made a couple of other appearances later on in the series, so it's not like it'll be the only time we see it is in this one. But we'll get there when we get there. I'm not really sure where it is. Anyways. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere towards the middle of the map. Could be wrong about that. Like, it's not the Guardi Garden of Badness boss or anything, but it's... It's, uh, I believe it's off to the left from there. We might have access to it right now. I'd have to go through that route and check. But it's definitely, definitely not one of the easier bosses in this game. I'm gonna go ahead and use a healing item. Even if it's just, like, one potion. Can't do anything about that just yet. Let's just head back out, then. We got good equipment from that area, so it was worth our time. Ooh, more rotten meat. Yes. Give me all of the rotten meat. Translated Japanese cutscenes from Shadow? Huh. Well, uh, first things first, were they better than the English ones? General writing his leaks better, only two dams on the whole thing, and no, like, taking candy from a baby lion. Ugh, they removed the best part! Oh, hey! That's a really, really good soul. Okay, looks like we have to level it up before it'll deal good chunks of damage. I wish we could get that other magic seal so that we could just fight the boss of this area already. I know what the boss is. Uh, here, this is one that I distinctly remember. It's really neat, but... It's just going to be something in our way for a while. Because we'll have to take this, like, long, winding route around it. it honestly, it just kind of sounds like they fixed everything. Uh, or, like, not that they fixed everything, but, like, that they broke a lot of the writing for the English translation of Shadow. Alright, here we go! 
Welcome to the demon guest house. Because the Aria or the Sorrow games are nothing without their weird guest house areas. We're a little strong for this place, not gonna lie. Now there's one thing I want to do here first before we really progress too deep into it. is in this area right here. Remember if the gun commander couldn't decide if he had a family or not? Yep, another localization. Oops. Says he didn't have any siblings, okay. That makes a lot more sense, actually. By the way, uh, stepping on this opens up the path backwards. Which, by the way, I'm gonna grab that cape. The Crimson Cloak. See if it's any good. Nope. I'm gonna leave that open. There it is. Throw a foe with incredible power. I have no idea what it does. Literally fucking none. I have never gotten that ability to trigger whatever it's supposed to be. That enemy is just a regular axe armor. Okay, don't need to worry about it too much. We're looking for great axe armors. Okay. I guess we really can't progress too far into this area then. Let's see. Um, which areas do let us progress into them then? I guess let's try to go higher in the Garden of Madness? There might be something for us up there. I'll take another skeleton soul, happily. I hate it when companies just like straight up completely fuck up localization like that. It it bothers me to no end. Fucking Kingdom Hearts has issues like that all throughout it. I'll take a level up, that's good. Like, um I don't want to spoil too much, but Roxas's final lines at the ending of 358 Days, uh, or not final lines, but you know. Um, Roxas's final lines to a certain somebody during the ending of, uh, 358 Days were completely botched. Just beyond completely fucked up. Like, Square didn't know what they were doing. Summon a... Mollusca? Sure. I'm not equipping that. Head off to the right here, there might be something. And something there was, a crunch room. Gotta love that crunch. Hey, a boss fight. The adventure games have botched translations too, but with Shadow it was on another damn level. Well, would you look at that? We can enter this boss room. Hello, Dario! 
Here at last, you really stepped out of bounds, punk. Huh? Dimitri, I'm talking about Dimitri. I didn't mean to kill your friend. I didn't finish. Huh? What are you saying? I wanted to pummel that up with the jerk myself. Doesn't your friend's death mean anything to you? Him? Ha, you gotta be joking. Ah, uh, let's get on with this already. Why do you want to become the Dark Lord anyway? Why? Look at this power. Can you imagine how crazy it'll be with even more power? You're insane. And you yap way too much. Come on, punk, I'll roast you to a cinder. Alright, uh, we're gonna equip not the Ryukuda. Hmm. Let's equip the zombie. Let's see how much damage it does. Oh, pretty good. Okay. Okay, Dario. Whatever you say. Oh, and he's gone. Dario has sick music for no reason. For such a do-nothing antagonist in this series, like... This my... You know what? I'll keep him out for a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and let's equip our ghoul set and let's eat some rotten meat, shall we? Give him a Titus laugh? Oh no. There he goes! You can give up trying to become the Dark Lord. A punk like you? You're not walking away from this! Dario! Enough! Celia, don't try to stop me. A man's got his pride. I know that, but I am not prepared to lose the last candidate. We'll pull back for now. I have another plan. I underestimated you, but this game isn't over yet. I shall be waiting on the uppermost floor. Come if you dare. Okay, bye Celia. <laughs> I get what they were going for with these villains, but like, man, none of them feel like they have any impact, you know? They're just an excuse to run around the castle some more. If you can even call this a castle, I'm really not sure what to call this area. Oh look, we can't do anything in here yet. <laughs> They're definitely a far cry from uh, Grant from Aria was. Grant felt like a fun like diversion from Dracula. While you tried to piece together that game's mystery of who Dracula actually was, uh, Celia does not feel like she adds much. What? Why? They have an interaction with this thing. Oh my god. Well, we're finally in the uh, top area of the guest house. Soma! I told you not to get involved, didn't I? Hello, Jay. Nice to see you. 
Alucard, what are you doing here? I thought that you were protecting Mina. Mina is fine. My colleagues are providing protection. Besides, keeping you under observation gets priority. You're still treating me as if I were the Dark Lord. Haven't you seen enough? I need you to understand. You are considered to be extremely dangerous. But since you're here, I suppose I can't stop you. While under my supervision, I'm prepared to overlook use of excessive force. Besides, we can't just allow this cult to carry on this way. Th thanks, I appreciate it. Also, Mina entrusted me with this. It's for you. What? A letter and a talisman? Dear Soma, if you're reading this, you've probably gone after that cult. I had a feeling you would when you disappeared after that incident. Just, yeah, Soma, I know that every single person within range told you not to touch them or to interact with them in any way, shape, or form, and yet you still went anyways because you're insane. Here's a letter. <laughs> I know that you worry about me, Soma, but I just worry about, or I worry just as much about you, too. <laughs> if you read this, you went after that cult, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> Yeah, no? That, yeah, Soma's a dumbass in this game. Some Dracula, right? <laughs> I won't ask you to come back right away because you're way too stubborn. But please promise me that whatever happens, you'll come back unharmed. Oh, and don't forget about that talisman. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I'll be praying for you. Always, Mina. Mina. Soma. Alucard. I won't ask you to come back, but don't get hurt, you stupid twink boy. You don't listen, I know you're reading this idiot, get back here. Yeah, basically. She is... She is literally based... Like, every person in this game was just like, Okay, Soma, we'll take care of the cult, you stay home. And Soma was like, I want to go fight the cult. And providing just a little bit more context, the ending of this game would not happen if Soma had not shown up. So, really, he's the cause of basically everything we're about to see. <laughs> because he's a dumbass. Brief me on the situation. What have you discovered? Uh, sure. I described what I had learned so far to Alucard. This is, yeah, this is my battle to win, Alucard. You leave me alone. Understood. But the fact that Celia mentioned a plan doesn't sound good. The only thing I can do is keep climbing towards the top floor. Fine, you do that. In the meantime, I'll try to track down Dario's whereabouts. Alright, well... That's enough for Alucard at the moment. I can't believe they, they're sticking with the Al Aricado thing. Even long after we everyone should know who he is. Stupid succubus. Oh no, that was Lilith, not succubus. Silly me. Oh yeah, this is definitely the area with the boss I was thinking of. This area has the most iconic boss from this game, so uh, look forward to that. Ooh! Enhanced throwing ability. That's actually a really good soul if you want to go for like a, a boomerang build or just any thrown item build, honestly. Oh, these are devils. This is what the demon design's going to look like in this game. Of course, we know we can't do anything down uh, at the bottom there. I'm going to be looking around in these rooms for either a save point or a warp point, because I'm going to hope that one's nearby. Awesome. Yeah, we wouldn't have gotten a sequel without this. You know, God forbid, like, maybe Alucard be the playable character or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's in here. Eh, whatever. It's an excuse to expand upon Soma's uh, soul-stealing ability, so it's fine.
Which, like, honestly, giving this game, like, all the credit it deserves, that is such a cool feature. Even if it makes a bunch of missteps here or there, you know, boss seals and whatnot. I'd, I'd say the game is overall still really good just because of that feature. Oh my god. Okay, um... This is a map of the area that we're going into. There are several exits that we can unlock simply by playing this slider puzzle a little bit. I fucking hate slider puzzles with a burning passion. These things are a disaster whenever I try to solve them. What are you saying, B? Oh, this isn't this isn't a switch. This is a slider puzzle. Uh, considerably more difficult to solve. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm bad at these. However, uh, we can open our way up to room 12 there by doing that. Um, I don't think I want to, though. Oh, you're thinking of Bioshock, huh? Yeah. Nope. These rooms make another appearance elsewhere in the series, by the way. Um, they get a fun little cameo appearance. Oh, look, ducks. They get a fun cameo appearance in uh, the, like, multiplayer game. Oh, God, we were cursed. Look at how fun the curse mechanic is, guys. We have no MP anymore. It's great. Don't you love it? <laughs> oh, hey, this room also gets a uh, an updated appearance. I'm certain there's a puzzle with that thing. We'll figure it out. Oh shit. This is where I wanted to be. Yep. Alright, let's try that room again. Might want to switch to a more precise weapon. Oh, come on. Let's see. <laughs> this ought to be the level of precision that we want. Awesome. Okay. I'm gonna switch back to the combat axe. Fuck it. We'll tap our way in there for the first one. Okay, we'll just tap our way through all of them, why not? 
Just because they, they fix the puzzles so that they are solvable by melee weapons doesn't mean they're best solved by melee weapons. Oh, hey! 2-4. Oh, no. I always thought there were only three of these each. Well, that's going to be fun, trying to track down as many of those as possible. Hammer only sells a certain small number of them in the shop, by the way. By the way, if you ever wanted a million fucking bone pillar souls, uh, this is the place to get them. For whatever reason, if you ever wanted this many. I think it only increases constitution, too, so it's not like it's any good. Oh, come on, Soma. <laughs> yeah, you can get fucking enough for all three billion of your friends here. Don't know what that enemy's deal was, but we're certainly not interacting with it again, right? Oh, sick, a hamburger! Wow. That healed me for nothing. Awesome. Let's head back to the Lost Village here. And we can talk to our good friends, Hammer and Yoko. Honestly, I could do with a 3 HP heal right about now. <laughs> that was fucking terrible. I can't believe how bad that thing was. Hi, Soma. What do you know about a man named Dimitri? Yeah, it's just, it's only good for a paper cut, nothing else. That must be Dimitri Blinov. Actually, I don't know much about him. <clears throat> Apparently, people call him Dimitri the Mirror. Mirror? He always looks behind the scenes and never comes out in the open. I see. That's all I have. Do you need anything else? Nah, we're good. Yeah, it's kind of weird that the only thing she knows is his nickname. Aw, uh, no cutscene from Hammer. Let's buy some potions. Do we have 3 1? Eh, whatever. <clears throat> Again, with the fucking gun, Soma! <laughs> I wish there was something that interesting with Dimitri. Jesus. Instead, he's just like the most boring villain here. I will admit, though, he was fun to voice act while he was around. Well, that's not happening anytime soon, or ever. <clears throat> Can you guys give me another soul to level up my zombies? Speaking of which, what level is our zombie at? One out of nine. Money is so easy to come by in this game, honestly. I feel like it never really becomes an issue. <laughs> that 
let's see. Where do we go now? I'll take another boomerang soul, why not? Oh, come back here. Be gone, thought. Oh! Okay, then. We're equipping that right now so I can show how nuts this one is. Oh, wait. Ha. Huh. We got cursed. Never mind. We're in the no fun zone. Oh, I hate how tight this corridor is. Wow, this area really just leads nowhere, huh? Oh, this is a fake final boss. It's just a pros machine making you sit through seven minutes of text followed by a mandatory seal. Oh my god. No thank you. I can tell you that they, uh, one of the later games does something kind of close to that. Making you sit through seven minutes of text before a final boss. That sounds awfully similar to what uh, Portrait of Ruin does. <laughs> and Portrait of Ruin's final boss is sick, too, so I can't even, like, blame it. Oh, hey! Third magic seal! Like, look at that! How are you supposed to remember that on the fly in the middle of a boss fight? <laughs> These seals are the worst thing in this game, hands down. Leave me alone, Quetzalcoatl. Fuck. Yeah. Okay! That's good. We can just equip that whenever we need it. Also, wait a minute. Which news piece was that? 2-2? Two, two, or I think we're only missing one more from the 2 section. His name is Mothman. Numerous sightings of this creature high in the sky... Light apparently came from thunderbolts. So, this is telling us that up high in the sky, if we use thunder somewhere, it we don't have the missing middle piece here, we could maybe encounter Mothman. Oh, sick, we're on the boss! Okay. Here we go! Welcome to the most iconic boss fight in the entirety of Dawn of Sorrow. Oh, uh, that's Fable 2. That's the Fable 2 DLC. You listen to the guy deliver a bunch of pros, and then you have the option to shoot him that entire time. And um, if you don't shoot him, one of your party members will shoot him for you and say, God, I thought he'd never shut up. Alright, welcome to the Puppet Master! I have no idea what he's supposed to be saying there. Um, these things that are in the corners of the room, we have to be very careful about. He will summon- oh god! Yeah, that's the mechanic. We have to break these dolls the moment he summons them. Luckily, it only takes us two strikes. Because if not, he'll voodoo us into the Iron Maidens. Oh god, we're going in. Nope, okay. Oh god, he's really tough. Alright, um... What would deal the most damage to him? Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, I better heal. Um because if he hit if he gets me in one of those now, 
I'll just die, because these deal about 150 damage each. It's such a ridiculous mechanic, and there he goes! Puppet Master, throw a puppet and switch places with it. <laughs> And there it goes. So yeah, that's the Puppet Master boss. Honestly, I wish he had just like a little bit more HP, but that attack, like that fight is so frantic and fun. I love it so much. I'm very glad this isn't his only appearance because, man, the Magic Seal thing really kills him. <laughs> because going even a few more seconds against this guy can lead to like fatal consequences. Much less an entire other phase if you fuck up. Throw cards as weapons? That's nice. Almost made the worst pun ever. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Three sevens. Oh, hey. Luck-based clothes. That's actually really good. Okay, so now we have access to quite a few more places in the castle. Let's head across here. Let's see what's in this area. Also, what's our map percentage right now? 32%. That's not... There he is. That's not what I want either. I'm gonna keep the Ryukuda equipped. Oh, you got a dual overload? Nice, let me know what you pull. Hold on, hold on. Can we see? Oh! The fuck was that? Five thousand points? First off, I'm very glad they brought back sitting in chairs. Finally. This is the feature we've all been clamoring for, I know. But second, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I need to see that enemy again. <laughs> so that is a waiter skeleton. Let's, let's see him die again. Amazing. I wonder what his soul does, honestly. <laughs> Considering how difficult it seems to be to get, um, probably something actually, like, really good. Oh, is that the last section of, uh, the news? Enter a pact with the devil to sharply raise strength? 
Oh, that's one dash two. Uh, um, Abominable Snowman living on the mountains near the mountain village. You guys want to try and get the waiter soul? Is that what I'm reading? Takes three of these to kill him. So, three sevens, lucky charm, ghost answer. Can I? I can knock hearts out of these. So, we can't quite do this infinitely, but we can try a couple of times. And now we wait for our MP to recharge. Yeah. Oh, you DM'd it to me? Oh! I'm not showing that on stream. <laughs> if you guys want to see Sexy Satan, you can look up images of Sexy Satan yourself. <laughs> but I do appreciate the image, Taylor. Oh, thanks for the curry. But where's your soul? I need it. The soul's gonna be actual garbage. I bet B sent you good stuff. I'm calling it right now. The soul is going to be fucking unusable garbage and we're going to forget we have it. He does have a soul that is marked as available, so... Just have to get lucky enough for him to drop it. I swear to god, if it's anything short th like shorter than using MP to heal yourself, I'm going to be upset. Not that we really need that, in all honesty. I mean, we have the ghoul. That's already basically like that. Except it doesn't even use MP. It just uses this item that's not even hard to get. Jesus. <laughs> I tried to hit him, but the bed got in the way. Yeah, we can't quite kill him with our sword. What's even in dual overload? Or overload? Some good stuff. That was a lot of uh, imports from Japan. Only one HP per hour. Oh. Oh, Soma. Why'd you sit in the chair? I was pressing up and attack. Oh. I don't think we're gonna get him to drop it. I I think we'll be here way too long if we try to get him to drop it. What do I normally have equipped? Golem. Yeah, he just he really wants to flex the fact that he can sit in chairs now. Now, there's a bunch of places we can go now, actually. Um, you wouldn't think 
that one of the more impactful souls in the game, oh hey, Lilith, nice, would be the Puppet Master, but nah, it's actually like really, really good. Ooh, Valkyrie, that's a good one. Aggressive squats? There you go. This is the closest you're getting. Gotta love how even though Soma's not a Belmont, he's got that strut. He's got that strut down. It's not quite as powerful as the Belmont strut, but you know what? It's up there. Oh, fuck off, Lilith. Alright, let's head back down. Can't go anywhere else in the Demon Guest House, so might as well uh, just head elsewhere. Let me remember all the places we can go now. We have that area in the Wizardry Lab. We have... Uh... That area that's actually... You know what? Let's go to the really close by area. You know what? Um, let's switch to this one. There's the robe and the red scarf. And then we can put Puppet Master on here because it'll be required to move forward occasionally. Looks like he's kicking a bug on the floor. Soma would never be so mean to bugs. Unless it's a demon, in which case, you know. He'd murder it and steal its soul. I really don't understand why they thought this game needed a sequel, or like Aria needed a sequel, you know? Gameplay wise, it makes sense to lead into, you know, uh, a new generation of games on the DS with whatever you had, like that was working before, but I don't know. Something about the idea of Soma getting a sequel just doesn't work as much as they'd hoped. Oh, we really can't do anything there. Okay. Yeah, after 200 fucking tries, we'd get a soul, maybe. I like how the boomerang skeletons fucking explode. Well, where else can we go then? Um... I don't think we can do any of the spots down in the wizardry lab. Like, below the wizardry lab. Oh! There's an area we can progress in in the chapel area, so let's head there. Undead Donkey Kong? Ah, yes, the skeleton ape. The garbage enemy. Oh, oops, I'm on the wrong set. Come here, Jesus. The mermen really got a glow up in this game. I guess that's like the equivalent of like the <clears throat> the Cognazo enemy class from Aria. I think. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have a new seal. We can probably fight that boss. <laughs> so let's go fight that boss.
Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, neither of the dams from the original Shadow script came from Shadow. I'm willing to bet they came from, like, the gun commander. And... Oh god, Black Doom doesn't even say damn in the English script. There's Melodious in here? Are, are you referring to the Mandragora? Oh! Oh no! Oh, you're talking about Dual Overload. Yes, there's a Melodious Link. Pretty good one, actually. Oh. Okay, we can't fight that enemy. Or that boss just yet. That'll take, you know, only forever. It's fine. <laughs> the music was abruptly stopped. What did he just say? I wonder what the translation of that line is. I think he said Yaruno? I think? Ha, you fucking thought, Donkey Kong. Get fucked. Alright, let's head back down into the chapel. Because below the chapel is things we can do. And actually, off to the side in the chapel, we can do stuff as well. Honestly, the sad part about this castle, quote unquote, castle, I don't really think it's even a castle. We never get to see it from the outside. Maybe by the ending we'll get to see it in the outside, but, you know, probably won't get to the ending tonight. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, that's dual overload. All the cards are ultra. You'd think that would mean that they all have the same pull rate, but they don't. Oh, wait a minute. No, we can't do anything here yet. Maybe we could if we, like, climbed up to the top of this area? soul. We don't need one, but thanks. I like how you hit the guillotiner and he just fucks off for a while. Two dams both come from the commander and Sonic. Oh, he says it. Okay, he says it during last story. Sonic curses a lot more in Japanese media, so that's not surprising. That's because, like, in Japan, cursing isn't, like, as big of a deal as it is here. Oh, we are absolutely not touching that boss yet. Did anyone catch the name of this area? Oh my god, okay. This enemy is a cave troll. And yeah, he's fucking terrible. I hate him. <laughs> we got a dead pirate. As opposed to all those living pirates we see in Castlevania.
figured down here would be a save point. Let's hope that it actually lets us do this. With the current stuff we have. That looked kind of cool. <clears throat> okay. I can't get over how stupidly complex that thing is. And they get more complex. Oh no. I don't know how that missed me. Okay. We can track its location by following the bubbles. It gave us some nice platforms to stand on. This is kind of a neat boss, in all honesty. Not really all too difficult. Oh shit, that did 91 damage. <laughs> and there it goes. You know it needs more Oh, hey, there it is. Ability to move underwater. And it's finally an ability soul! Thank fuck! See, you know what this needs? More damn cursing. But only mild cursing. Don't want to upset too many folks. Well, you see, the thing, the thing about that was it was going to have more intense cursing. But the E10 rating was introduced. Like, right then. So... They were like, alright, let's scale it back. We can hit this new rating and be one of the few games on the market marketed towards this new demographic. That is a mimic. Oh, God. Decariba. Hurl a Decariba. And those guys are, of course, fish heads. We've seen them previously. Wow, we actually saw one of them attack for once. Oh! Yeah, that's pretty good! Uh, Sonic Line is never gonna be hate to piss off gun, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that falls in line with uh, the kind of thing that they were planning for, for Shadow. Like every video game with corporate meddling, uh, the original vision was going to be a lot cooler. Die, Merman. And Chainmail. Hmm... That's a good enough buff to <clears throat> warrant the intelligence increase. Yeah, no, uh, the red blood was also cut. Yeah. 
I can't get over the fucking face the mermen make in this game sometimes. I'll let one sit on screen for a moment next time we see one. When Shadow cuts himself, does he bleed green? Yes. Launch torpedoes in water. That's a pretty decent ability. Ooh, a rusty food tin. Okay, watch the merman's face sometimes. Yeah. He does that whenever he's getting ready to launch an attack. Throw a fish head. Okay. I'm glad we're getting so many souls down here. check out what's up here yes okay had to cut out Maria falling over in the gunshot intro despite still having flashback to it oh come on Sentient Iceberg is angry at me. Not anymore! Oh, this enemy is the Frozen Shade. We've seen her a couple of times in the Game Boy Advance games. And I believe we also encountered her in Symphony. And here, like, this game is really where you start to notice them reusing symphony sprites. Hmm. How do they want me to... I almost got it there. Oh. Yeah, no, by like a pixel, it's kind of frustrating. That doesn't do anything. What the hell? Okay. It's fine, I'm not disappointed. No. Definitely not. Okay, so then wait, what do I have to do here? Yeah, it's probably something. Just something we can't do yet. Knowing these games, it might require a soul that's like completely optional too. Oh no. It's the Alarun. Guys, my favorite enemy's back. And the lightning won't even fucking target her. Oh. To be fair, she's nowhere near as bad. Hey, Merman. She's nowhere near as bad as she was in Symphony. In Symphony, she was a fucking nightmare. Yeah, she's really obnoxious. Practically a boss in her own right whenever you see her. <clears throat> okay. The rusty food tin gave us... Full HP! Holy shit! Alright. That thing gives a random status condition, I believe. Uh, always bad. However, if you have the ghoul equipped, of course, it's not rotten food anymore. Oh, yeah. Like, the inverted caverns are already a really awkward place to try and navigate. 
Oh good, it's this guy. We've seen that thing before, the bone arc. It fires these really annoying beam shots. Honestly, that isn't very surprising. The garden sounds like where she is, like, made for. Hey, I'll take a save point. What's her map percentage at? 39. The map to this game is fucking massive, by the way. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, this game is going by much slower than... Um... Aria was. I really enjoy the uh, wide arc that this weapon attacks in. Oh yeah, if we head back here... It takes us right back to the Garden of Madness. Which is a place that is easier to get around in now. But we still can't do everything here, so uh, might as well just fill out this path and then turn around. Let's see. Small sword. That's probably a weapon that's really good along an upgrade path if we decide to do that. That is one way that they like to hide weapons in this game, is they have really good ones hidden behind really long and complex upgrade paths. Oh look, we can do things here now. This is probably the easiest room to grind the Mandragora soul. Holy shit. Not that we'd get lucky enough to get it, of course. <laughs> I want a mimic to transform into some ridiculously large creature like two screens high that can somehow retract into a chest instantly. Uh, have you played Dark Souls? <laughs> because it's not quite that big, but it, the mimics in Dark Souls are very large. And in each game, they have their own really obnoxious movement patterns. It's great. Uh, I believe the Dark Souls 3 ones do karate at you. Open a chest and it's Gallimon. <laughs> I mean, the Dark Souls mimics are taller than your character, if that counts for anything. head back to that save point. Just for your safety. Yeah. Fuck them bone arcs. I saw a merman sprinting at me. Panicked just a little bit. Oh yeah, that Dark Souls game is irrelevant, guys. It's irrelevant. Even though it was completely relevant to the discussion, it's irrelevant, guys. I swear, we're just talking about video games that are hard and how hard video games are better than not hard video games. What, what do you mean modern video games are still hard? Dark Souls is irrelevant. Slow dug. Trademarked. Oh, 
I'll never be able to forget about that man. Never. When you are that insane in a comment section, the world never forgets. <clears throat> Warp point? Hell yeah! Let's head back to the Lost Village. Oh yeah, I'd like to take this moment to say that the new stream highlights up on the main channel. I saw you commented, Robert. Um, but for anyone else who wants to go see it, it's there. Part of me, like, wants to get on, like, a weekly uploading schedule, but another part of me is like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with that. So, uh, the best I can say is I'm going to try to get out more frequent things, like videos. Hey, Soma! What's wrong? I kinda understand, but don't you think it's a little too frequent? What is? Julius. You know, how often he comes to see Yoko. It's their job? They have to keep in touch? Well, I get that, but a little age gap doesn't get in the way of love. You're imagining things. Yoko said Julius is just a business partner. She didn't really, but... Yeah, yeah, I get it. That's okay. Anyway, how can I help you? Well, let's see if he's got anything new. No new newsletters. Um... Hmm. Not really any new weapons or armor, either. Nothing all too great. Alright. Bye, Hammer. See, the sad thing is, Hammer's shop isn't very good in this game. In the previous game, we at least used it to, like, buy a couple weapons. I don't think we've really used it at all here, other than for potions. It just- the stuff that you find lying around the castle is not only easier to find than it was in Aria, but... I don't know, it's just... better than everything in Hammer's shop. It's not like you can go back to our early, early game and find him selling a katana or something. Hi, Soma. Do you know about a monster that can instantly switch between two weapons? <clears throat> oh, she's referring to the doppelganger. No, I don't. Soma, don't fucking lie. You can You have that soul. <clears throat> I think the monster's name was Doppelganger. If you dominate that monster's soul, please word it differently, Yoko. It could help you in fights. You'd be able to switch between two weapons to suit the situation. Yeah, that sure would be helpful. So how may I help you today? Well, let's take a look at weapon synthesis. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we still can't do anything about this one. <clears throat> uh, Armor Knight. Valkyrie. Valkyrie upgrades the Halberd. Why not? <clears throat> This is more stuff I could use when I'm pulling all oh, I'm pulling out is melodious and terraforming. Hey, terraforming's really good. Lance was crafted, and ooh, we use a mini devil for the lance. I thoroughly dominated that soul earlier. And then we have a trident now. Ooh, and we can use the deco riba to make Brianak. And just like that. Oh hey! We can get Slagra's Spear by going along the entire Spear upgrade path. The mace can be upgraded with a Needle Soul that we got. I'm not really interested in using the mace. Let's see if it's better than our Bougie. Or our Bouge. Brianak. Uh, it's actually slightly worse. Lame. But we can equip it here. It kinda sucks. Not gonna lie. Hold on. Yeah, it doesn't reset when you jump. <laughs> self sensed No, thank you. Now, Jay, I need to know. Did you pull, uh... Just send me a picture of your polls, actually, on Discord. I'll let you know if there's anything I want off you. Because I'm fully willing to trade Pokemon Full Arts for certain cards.
God, gotta love that crunch. I gotta say, I'm enjoying this game much more in its current state. The original game is such a disaster. <laughs> the Definitive Edition really improves a lot of stuff. Ooh. Let's see. Whenever we meet up, sure thing. Alright, let's head back into the subterranean hell. Good name for an area, by the way. I'll take that mushroom. <clears throat> I hope that mushroom has like a getting high effect on it. That'd be pretty funny. Honestly, I think it's crazy that minus some 3D models, this game is like graphically as impressive as Symphony was on the DS. It's kind of neat. Oh, your large card. Okay. I panicked for a second. I was like, did you pull infinite and permanence? Because I need those. However, if you did pull infinite and permanence, uh, please trade that to me. Or after hours of upgrade, you get 8-bit holy water. Centuries ago, most men saw this is the only weapon capable of driving away the Reaper. <laughs> hey, don't call me a scrub. It's just the only reliable way to drive his ass off. Because otherwise, he's just gonna fucking bully you with random, like, summons. A save point, which means that we're definitely near a boss. Which would be the second boss out of the subterranean hell. Or not, okay. I'll take a mushroom. Only sensible and not self-abusive way to beat him? That makes sense, yes. That... ooh. Medusa head! Same effect that it had last time. It Surprisingly enough, it'll still be useful in the exact same spot it was last time, during the final boss fight. Depending on how the final boss wants to position itself, of course. All I can really say is, uh, watch the fuck out for the final boss of this game. It's kind of nuts. Am I supposed to be back here? Oh. Ability. Rahab. Turn off. And you can swim over these. And then if I remember right here, we have to ability. Rahab. On. Hmm. I don't remember how to do this one. Well, for now, uh, we'll just remember this room for later. Oh, I should not jump in this water. You only got two rarer cards? God, I find it fucking hilarious how terrible the level design is in Simon's Quest that it leads to people having to throw holy water every three seconds. Oh wait, we should probably turn on Rahab.
Just saying. It might help in this area, just a little bit. God, that is so much easier to break out of on, like, an emulator playing with a 360 controller. Like, holy shit. Alright, let's head all the way back down to the bottom. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I'm very glad that they, uh, didn't make it consume anything. To be fair, there's nothing to consume in that game, because hearts aren't, like, <laughs> they aren't ammunition. They're currency, for some reason. Hey, what? What is this? Hmm. Alright, clearly we're going to need some variation of the Gallimoth soul from last time for that. It has a couple of ultras in there uh, for things you're using, but I mean, otherwise, yeah, it's it's basically just uh, an import set for Japan stuff. <coughs> Jesus. What were your high-end pulls, by the way? I'm curious. There's a couple of good cards out of that set that are... Pretty amazing. Okay, well, we can't do anything down here from the looks of it. <clears throat> Create a blade of ice that causes freezing. Neat. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Up here might lead somewhere that we can't get otherwise. It does? Awesome. Although there, it doesn't appear to be anything up here. <coughs> Frozen motherfuckers. Ice cream. Yay. I do want to eat cursed ice cream, thanks! <clears throat> Alright, let's figure out where else we can go then. Because both of the directions from the bottom of this area are completely cut off. Because of course they are. It does indeed never melt. <clears throat> Head to the Garden of Madness. There's something I want to check out there. <laughs> so, don't you know Soma's like pockets are freezers? It's it's why he's decked out in all white. <laughs> he's actually Jack Frost. Ooh, increases MP recovery speed. That's a really good one. <clears throat> he 
You ever put like a hamburger in your pocket in real life? Like, you ever know how disgusting that is? And yet, Soma did that earlier. Just scooped it right out of a clown's corpse and put it into his pocket and then ate it moments later. Relinquished anima and- Oh! Crystron something! Okay, okay. Um, I need that Crystron something off you really bad. Crystron Hockey Firebrax is one of the strongest cards in the entire game right now. Like this black dragon card? I'll have to look at the set to see what it is. Yeah, still can't do that. <clears throat> However, that is not what I wanted to check. Just figured might as well, you know, bump myself into it. Oh! <clears throat> yeah, the dragon card's neat, but it's not very great. Uh, that Crestoron card's an amazing pull, though. I disagree with your statement, but, uh, my dog's recently got into a fight over a three-month-old stale dog treat that was sitting underneath the sofa and covered in garbage and, like, crap, so, um, oh, I can't, I just straight up can't get there yet, got it, okay, okay, so, um, Four thirty-three. We still can't open this fucking door. Now it's four forty-three. Four ninety-three. A way that you can get it to line up is you can just get the first two digits to line up. And then go to the shop and buy Lucky Charms until, um, you have, like, a low enough number in your hundred spot. It's not the most cash-efficient way, but it's the easiest way to get into that room. And then you just have to make it back without getting any more money. <laughs> okay. We're gonna head to the top of this area. Because there is a, like, an unexplored area up there. Hell, there's even unexplored stuff where we are. So, I'm gonna hope that leads us somewhere new now that we have the ability to get through those, like, gaps in the wall. If it doesn't, oh well. Hey, summon an archer to support you. That brings down the archer to do one attack. The animation takes fucking forever. It's not worth it. <clears throat> Here, red card and a terraforming. Oh, okay. Uh, the Abyss Actors neat. The Abyss Actors themselves aren't super great, but like, if you want a cheap budget deck to go for, that's the number one pick right there. <clears throat> Hey, great armor! Summon a great armor! Holy shit! Alright, this thing's fucking nuts. We're using it for a while. Sword of Dawn? Which one is that one? Jog my memory. You got Gilgamesh and a Keyblade Ma- Oh, I know. I know which one the Keyblade Master is. That would be Ib. Or Lib. I forget which one. Doesn't matter, though. That's nerd shit. Yeah, I think she's used, though. I think she's, like, alright.
this tombstone has a soul we can steal. you summon undead allies with a weak individually but you stand oh uh yeah we have the zombie soul that's the closest we get god my throat is not happy with me today if we head back here I wish he had any attack range, oh my god. <laughs> zombie World the Hero Link card and like cubic something? I might want that Zombie World off you. Cubics are an interesting deck, um, though. I can't say they're very good. But they're interesting, to say the least. Okay, the main thing I want to do here is I want to open up this passageway over here. And, of course, fill up the map a little bit. Call forth an army of mooks at will, even when it's not efficient. Yeah, uh, this game, they put that on the zombie, so there's no sword like it, but you can just up B spam. Or, I guess, up Y spam, because that's the attack button here. Condemned Tower. Here we go. Oh shit, I know which area this is. Alright. We're in for a fun time here. We should be able to fight this boss in our current state. Gee, I wonder if this room's important. Julius, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, it's you. This door is sealed by a powerful barrier. Something's behind it, too. Do you sense something bad? Yes. I can feel it in my gut, and it doesn't feel good. Unfortunately, it's impossible to check what's behind the door. Why is that? The barrier's too strong. I may be able to crack it, just a bit. But it'd be better to contact Yoko and await help. What about you? Well, I described what I had discovered to Julius. The Dark Lord's candidates. It sounds as or it sounds as though that should be my next target. I will see about joining Alucard. <coughs> uh, if you want prediction princesses, they're in the Dragons of Legend set that just got released. However, I just picked up the entire like rest of the deck, so uh, just wait till next time you come over. We can play some prediction princess if you want. Wait a minute, what did we just pick up? Wasn't one of those. Gurgoth! Fire a devastating laser beam. Is that the thing we just picked up? I think it is. It is, yeah. Oh, I'm willing to bet that candle wasn't there in the original version. That is an extra of a boss soul, actually. That lets you um, craft whatever item you need without losing the boss soul forever. Oh, I don't think that's worth it. Because remember, the original version of this game was basically unfinished. And there goes the disc armor. Alright. Uh, the original version of this game was practically unfinished. Ooh, this is an evil room for disc armor setup.
Got about 10 minutes left. I might push through to the next boss. <clears throat> because this one's really cool. No, it's impossible to both get all the weapons and all the souls at the same time. Completing the map is whatever. <clears throat> that one's possible. Getting all the souls, however, is not as long as you're going for all the weapons. <clears throat> because you need to use, as we've seen, you need to use some of them to get certain boss or certain weapon upgrades. So if you want all of the weapons, you need to use boss souls to get legendary weapons, which, well, there's only one boss soul in the game. Hey, is that the Great Axe armor? It is! We need his soul! Hmm. Fighting him consistently might be dangerous. <clears throat> I like this infinite, like, big tower that we're climbing. It takes five hits to kill him. I think something that makes boss souls not disappear forever, didn't you? I'm guessing it's normally not obtainable. Um, no, um, so <laughs> what I picked up was a soul that belongs to a boss, but it came out of a candle, which means that the developers put the boss souls, like an extra copy of each of them, the developers of this mod, put an extra copy of each boss soul in a candle so that you can obtain their legendary weapon without getting rid of the soul completely. There's no way to make it so they never disappear because whoever developed this game just forgot that people would want to do both, I guess. <clears throat> Let's see, um... Yeah, basically. But I mean, whatever, you know? Let's switch to this one so we can... Triple seven... Nina's talisman. Wow, that thing kinda sucks. Ghost dancer. Take six hits with this weapon to kill him. So here we go. That's a good idea. Maybe, maybe I won't. <laughs> oh my god. mind using all the potions that we have stockpiled to like explore more because or in this case grind more honestly god that is so picky that should prevent us from getting hit like that again he is so picky Come on. Drop your soul. I'm the fucking ruler of this castle, bitch. You give me your soul. Oh my god.
Damn. He is really stingy about his soul. We got a level up. We did not get his soul. We got a tomahawk out of him. That wasn't his soul. He's weak to electricity. We have to equip something stronger. I'm sorry, Brianak. I know we spent a lot of things getting you, but... Takes five hits with that one. Our luck's really high, come on. Hold on, I need to check the soul drop rates for this fucking game. There's no way, no way they're this low for him. Dawn of Sorrow Soul Drop Rates. Um... It's the Great Axe Armor? Um, soul drop rate, two fucking percent. Oh my god. I wish he'd stop catching me on that, like, pickup. I can't get over how comically large his weapon is, though. We'll move on for now. I don't want to sit on him all day. Oh, hey, the werewolf. Bye. We'll go back and punch the werewolf later. We'll go back and assault the furry later. Quote me. about that yeah no it wouldn't surprise me if it took all night if we had stayed there thanks one dollar for covering up whatever news article this was hey we have all of these it's drawn to intense light high in the sky Okay, so we need the Rook Soul, and we need to use it really high up in the sky. Where? I don't know. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Well, 
motherfuckers. I hate Fleeman. I have always hated Fleeman, and I will never not hate Fleeman. It's just a fact of life. Watch as we don't have the proper seal to get here to, like, fight this boss. Alright, here we go. Super boss that drops an item, except 2% drop rate, and you can't revive the boss unless you don't save. Evil. There it is! This boss is named Gurgoth! It is an undead dragon. Sort of just, uh, aimlessly moves. Oh, good. He, he wants to chomp me when he does that. Oh, Jesus. Oh god, that's- yeah, that's his signature attack. Oh my god, Gurgoth. I knew he was gonna be a problem, but like, man. <laughs> Though it is a unique item, it's also completely useless. Reminds me of Dracula from uh, Curse of Darkness dropping tomato juice. If you steal from him. <clears throat> you have to, like, take a huge risk to steal from him, and when you do, it's just like fucking, here you go, a can of tomato sauce. I gotta admit, I really like the design of this enemy. It is fucking horrifying. Oh my god. I have never seen that attack before. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Chunky milk cottage cheese, except it makes you sick. Unless you have the ghoul. <clears throat> God damn, Gurgoth. didn't leave me any room to leave. <laughs> this boss is very RNG heavy. Oh god! Here we go! Oh! <laughs> Gurgoth is fucking pissed! His ankle weights are off. He is unchained. Hey, wait a minute. Of course. That wasted one of our rotten meats. Use the second one for now. I can grind for some off-stream. Stay the fuck away from that attack. Ha! 
hell yeah! Gurgoth is such a cool fucking boss fight. And there we go, our second Gurgoth soul. Such a cool fucking boss fight, like, oh my god. <laughs> really, this game's original bosses are so creative. Between that thing and Puppet Master? Hell, even Flying Armor was a really cool way to start off the game. <clears throat> I kind of want to push through to see if we can fight the Mothman. Hmm. Problem is, we need to be able to get across this. Okay. You can barely do it with the Flying Armor. Okay, Disc Armor. Fuck you. If you hack to be able to use the key, it automatically crashes and corrupts your safe. It's one of the cruelest game developers. Right there. And if you use any glitch to get into that room, uh, the only thing you're left with is an NPC saying, hey, you're not supposed to get in here. And then he steals all your money and leaves. You gotta work, so you're heading out. Good night, Jay. I won't progress the plot anymore tonight unless there's, like, more plot behind the door. I'll try to message you if there is more plot behind that door. But we have to work our way back to the top in the annoying mode of the tower this time, so... It might take a little bit. Okay. Nope, no soul. Huh. Oh. All right, furry, I'm here for you. <laughs> oh. Speaking of hate, I hate the jumps to get through this tower as well. But hey, if we want, we can just drop all the way back down to the bottom. This area is only hard to get up through, not down. Alright, let's equip the Rook Soul. Oh, I used it! Fuck. Right? Oh wait, no, no, wait, I'm looking in the wrong section. Okay, nothing yet. A tower key. Oh, hey, and there's a warp to the top of the tower. This one time, uh, I thought Ocarina of Time was trolling me. I didn't realize the big pose heal when they teleport, so they just thought they just had insanely high health. I was thinking, how is it not dead yet? I used all my arrows. I never really bothered with pose in any Zelda game. Hey, I'm insanely high up in the sky, and my lightning isn't doing anything, so... Oh, well. Guess we're heading back to the Lost Village. <clears throat> and 
And that is enough Dawn of Sorrow for tonight. Go ahead and close out of it. There we go. And then post stream. Okay. They're not worth it in Ocarina. The big ones are hidden in unmarked spots on Hyrule Field, and all you get for selling them is the fourth bottle, which you honestly don't need. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really a 100% person when it comes to Zelda. There we go. All right. Um... Trying to think if there's any big news we can talk about, really. Uh, Castlevania news. Uh, yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Netflix did an adaptation of another sort of fantasy uh, video game. They did an adaptation of Dragon's Dogma for whatever fucking reason. Yeah, no, Konami does still suck. Here, I, I, You know what I don't really get, right? Why do people feel the need to adapt video games into other mediums? Isn't the thing about video games that they're, like, interactive? Right? Like, I don't know. It just, it doesn't seem like it's needed. <laughs> if I want to play Dragon's Dogma, I can just go to my PS4 and put the Dragon's Dogma disc in, and I can play Dragon's Dogma, and I can make my own story choices in that, um, because Dragon's Dogma is like a an RPG with like a lot of uh, options, if I remember right. It's got a lot going, going on in its plot. I don't know, am I crazy? Am I nuts? Like, I don't get video game adaptations, I really don't. Like, the Sonic movie was good, I guess. But I would still rather sit down and play a Sonic game. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, nah, the Sonic movie's, like, better than the games, or whatever. Like, I really don't understand that mindset. <laughs> and I get it. It's easier to sit down and watch an adaptation than it is to buy the video game and play it, right? But Dragon's Dogma is cheap. <clears throat> it's cheap as hell. Like, you can get that game for, like, $10. And it's not like you need to own a PS4 to play it. I'm pretty sure it's on PC, and it's also on PS3, so... Like, why bother adapting it? And apparently it's not even that good, so... Oh, and the article I clicked on about it, um... Uh, is forcing me to sign up to their newsletter to look at the website. Type your email, fuck you, at gmail.com. I don't want to subscribe. No, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm really sorry to the owner of fuck you at gmail.com. There, leave me alone. It's not getting rid of the pop-up. <laughs> There, it finally got rid of it. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, what a garbage website. And all to see what they have to say about this fucking Dragon's Dogma anime. Um... Blah, 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 blah. Dragon's Dogma, unlike Castlevania, which has decades of lore to pull from, its most memory qualities, memorable qualities of a video game were decidedly video gamey. Core appeals of the game were making your own medieval fantasy hero, creating a sidekick character called a pawn, 
and then killing fantasy monsters by climbing on them and stabbing their weak points. A TV show can't do a lot of that, and it's not really fair to judge it uh, for forcing a protagonist on you that you didn't create. So it's a good thing that Dragon's Dogma is actually a fairly interesting story to tell and a fair amount of climbing. Why? Why? Fuck you at pissoff.bastard? That would have been a really, really good email to enter. Let's see. If it if done right and with the right game adaptations to make for interesting expansions on some stories, of course, that's pretty rare. Honestly, yeah, I've yet to see it happen. Like, the most fun game, like, game adaptation I think I've seen is, like, technically speaking, Rage of Bahamut was... You just woke up? Well, uh, welcome to the world of the living, Toontastic. <laughs> uh, you've unfortunately missed Castlevania for the night, but I'm going to probably stream for another 15 minutes or here and just sit here and mindlessly chatter with you guys. So, Of course, whenever I say I'm going to stream for like 15 more minutes, I end up going for like an hour. <laughs> because, of course, you know, that's whatever. It's fine. We were just talking about video game adaptations and how they're not very good all the time I clicked elsewhere on this godforsaken website and guess what just fucking popped up subscribe to our newsletter oh my god <laughs> You know what? I'm typing in fuck you at pissoff.bastard. There. Oh my god. This website's a nightmare. It's literally all talking about shit on Netflix and whatever other garbage streaming platforms there are. Just a lot of clickbait articles. The Sonic movie was fun. Yeah, no, they're they're definitely not good. A good website. The Ocarina of Time manga for what it has was pretty good. The main issue is the pacing. How a lot of the game kind of gets glossed over. The Kingdom Hearts mangas are actually very similar. They have a lot of pacing problems and they gloss over a lot of uh, plot points. Which, of course, it being Kingdom Hearts makes the plot even harder to fucking understand. Because if you don't have every little minute detail that's in those games, you won't understand random story concepts later because of course you won't Nomura can't do things easily what <sighs> tired oh yeah I have an announcement to make about the uh, upcoming stream schedule change so I've decided to make a slight adjustment um, I'm going to be switching the time spot si time spots that we have Probably, uh, I'll switch out Castlevania and Final Fantasy. <clears throat> so it'll be Sonic Monday, Tuesday, Castlevania Wednesday, Thursday, and then Final Fantasy, um, Friday, Saturday. So, and the way I'm going to be handling things, I think, moving forward is I'm going to, I'm going to set up a Twitter account. And on that Twitter account, and in the Discord, of course, if uh, if you're in there and pay attention to it. Not many people do, but just in case. Uh, I'm going to tweet out the day of whether or not there's a stream happening that night. It won't be every night on this schedule that I'm streaming. There will be certain nights where things will come up, or I'll be busy doing other stuff, and I'll be like, alright, I have to cancel for tonight, or I have to not do it tonight. And I just want to leave that avenue open. So that way I can increase the frequency of the streams if I feel like it and if I'm down for it. But if there's like other things, real life stuff getting in the way, then I can, I have the flexibility to cancel it. Um, my phone isn't on me, otherwise I'd make the Twitter account right now. <laughs> 
I'll, I'll need an icon for it, but eh, I'll figure that out eventually. Considering my icon here on Twitch has been Esper for the past, like, what, forever? I've never even used an Esper in Pokemon. I don't know why it's Esper. Oh, you started college? Nice, nice. I'm starting here in less than a week, uh, starting the new term. <clears throat> After this term, I'm finally getting my degree, which is crazy. It's... It's been so long, dude. I... Ugh. And then I get to fucking move on to university and forget about community college. Because my community college has been fucking me over since day one. Like, they've been telling... They've they changed my grad requir requirements on me three times already. And that's just in the past, like, four months. They were like, oh, by the way, you also need this class now. Oh, by the way, you also need this class. Oh, by the way, you only need this class now. Oh, by the way, you, you don't... You, you need these classes now. Oh, by the way. And it's been a nightmare to keep up with. Yeah, I'm... I am not having fun with it. At one point, they stopped counting a class that I, like, actively had... Like, I already did it, and they were just like, yeah, no, you need this class. And I'm like, wait, but I have that. And they were like, oh, okay. Well, you need this one instead, then. Made me so fucking mad. <clears throat> they do that shit to me all the time. And on top of that, you see, my background, like, okay, I started going there as a computer science major. I recently switched to psychology because psychology is something that I enjoy a lot more. And there's, frankly, there's a lot more openings in it than that I would be able to compete for, like, actually. Um, either in social work or whatever else. Um, and holy shit. The computer science program at my school was garbage. Best way to handle things is to spring unexpected stress upon your students constantly. Yeah, I know, right? And then complain when there's a low grad rate. <laughs> yeah, um, so there's only... <clears throat> there are only two computer science teachers in my enti the entirety of my community college. And there have been since I started. Actually, no, there was a third when I started, but she retired. Um... One of them is a very good teacher. Uh, he taught me basically everything I know. He's the reason why I'm actually pretty alright. Despite being garbage at everything else computer science, I'm pretty good at data management and, like, databases and stuff. Um, I, I don't think any of those skills ever held for too long, but, like, I was pretty good at it back, back when I was actively doing it. Oh my god, the other one... When I, I took exactly two classes from this dude, and he, holy shit, <laughs> what he did was he would, he was running what was called a quote-unquote reversed classroom, and I don't know what you're thinking, hey, what the fuck does that mean? And I'll tell you what that means. It means that he swapped where we do each thing we read everything at home we do all of our learning and reading and note taking at home and then we come into class and we work on assignments why is my question right i'm paying to receive instruction from an instructor <clears throat> when that instructor just links us a free online resource and says, here you go, here's how you learn how to fucking make a website. You could have gotten this on your own, but who cares? And then he shows up to class and he's like, okay, everyone here, everyone got their computer, all right, get to work. And then does nothing and sits there and stares at his own computer all day? Holy shit. There was no way in hell I was going to pass that. Like, that is such garbage. And, like, a few, there were a few times out of the year where he was like, okay, I'll show you guys how to do this thing. And then he would bring up his fucking computer up on the projector and then he would make a, like, make a bunch of code that was just complete garbage. It, it would not compile ever. It never, ever worked. 
no matter how much he worked on it, and we'd spend the entire class period debugging his fucking code. And it wasn't even helpful, because he would, like... He would debug it himself. Like, he wouldn't even tell us how he's fixing it. He would just sit there and debug it. My one professor was hired last minute, didn't have full access to the website that we needed, so we started half hour later. I had a moment like that. Um, I had a teacher who was hired pretty much last second uh, for a night class, actually. Uh, Psychology 101, I believe it was, a little while ago. A very good teacher uh, once she got herself set up, but it took her a bit. Hello, class. Maybe wondering why I'm depressed. Well, as the active teacher, I have to put up with so much stress all the time. Oh, yeah. Poor, poor Mr. Computer Science Professor. He has to, like, show up to class on time, except he didn't even do that most of the time. He'd show up super fucking late for no reason at all. It was the worst. Some days he wouldn't even show up. Yeah, this dude was awful. I'd call him out by name, but, you know, I don't feel like doxing myself on stream. Mr. Doctor Professor, oh, you're right. Yeah, no, uh, I don't give this guy any title whenever I talk about him. I refer to him by his first name exclusively because uh, it's he's garbage. Yeah, that was that was a fucking nightmare. Yeah, he's Guy. He's fucking... I mean, I guess it's not doxing myself if I say his first name, but I don't know how many... How many, like, computer science professors are out there with his name. <laughs> Either way, he was he was a garbage professor. He was terrible. My second class day, we were supposed to watch a video, but the video wasn't working, so nobody did anything for that class that day? Oh. Yeah, no, that's just how online classes work. You're gonna have to get used to that for probably about... a a term or two until covid gets under control after that you'll be fine college is like whatever they get on you so much about like oh you need to study for x amount of hours and you need to like do all this you need to blah 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 and it's like no you don't i'm just gonna tell you that right now you don't why they didn't upload it on youtube i don't know but yeah i'm telling you right now you don't need to like study for x amount of hours per credit some subjects you're gonna get easier than others and in all honesty most of what you're gonna be taking in your first couple of years of college is a general education which is short term for literal garbage we're stealing your money i mean i i guess you're in canada so i don't know if canada has like free school or not the u.s does not um all of what mr uh guy teacher from the fucking cs department everything he did was paid for by me thousands out of my fucking pocket to be taught nothing i was pissed i took by the way i took that guy uh i reported him to the dean of students and she was like nah that kind of class is okay i'm fine with it and the next year she was fired so you know Oops. This is where I'd play the fucking Curb Your Enthusiasm theme if, like, you know, it wouldn't get copyright struck. Program's very hands-on, doesn't involve a lot of that. It's animation. Hey, that's pretty nice. Getting into animation programs can be tough at times. Uh, here in the U.S. especially, they're really expensive. <clears throat> and they're typically all in California. There's a reason that the quote-unquote CalArts style is kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, we'll get copyright struck if I even fucking hum it, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that teacher, or, uh, the teacher's still working there, but the dean of students was fired, uh, for... Probably for unrelated reasons, but it was probably because she was such a fucking terrible dean. It was really difficult to get in touch with her in the first place. Her email wasn't anywhere on the goddamn website, and I had to go through, like, three other different, like, uh, staff members at the college in order to get to her email. Came really expensive this year because I had to buy a new computer in the programs, like, entire Adobe Cloud. Oh, yeah. Dude, fuck Adobe. Fucking. <sighs> the fact that they don't let you just buy it outright anymore, it's a monthly subscription now, I hate it.
I mean, hey, though, chase your dreams, you know? Animation's a good field if you can get into it. Um, you just have to avoid working on really terrible TV shows. <laughs> One wrong move and suddenly you're working on a show that only gets five episodes and then it gets canned and you're out of a job. Because that does happen in the industry a lot, actually. But if you hit it big, you know, you might be the next Adventure Time or uh, Steven Universe, I guess. I don't... I don't know how successful Steven Universe was at animating anything, but... <laughs> or better yet, you're working on, like, some cool-ass game somewhere. On The Simpsons. Oh, yeah, yeah, The Simpsons. Just get a good job on The Simpsons. Literally permanent job there. They'll never cancel you. Yeah, it's set for life, really, truly. You just have to get over the fact that you're making completely artistically bankrupt trash. <laughs> yeah, Simpsons and SpongeBob's are just getting puppeted around. Um, like corpses. They're not really anything actual. Or you can work on Family Guy. Then you don't even have to animate. You can just have one frame of a character standing and the next frame is them falling over and it counts as animation or a joke or something. And remember, uh, just be really loud and make fun of whatever's trending. But like, not currently trending. What was trending like three months ago. And there you go. You're on Family Guy now. Congratulations. And of course, they'll never cancel that either. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's fine because the official SpongeBob YouTube's kind of trashy. Well, it's uh, getting close to the end of the stream. Um. Let me think. Anything I want to plug. There's a new stream highlight out. I would appreciate it. People would go and watch that. Um, uh, it's up on the main channel. And I posted it in the Discord as well. Um, I I don't know. I'm, I'm planning on getting out another stream highlight here soon. Um, maybe maybe give me like a week or something. And I'll, I'll try to get one out. Weekly uploads on Monday sound like sustainable for now so i'll try that um maybe bi-weekly uploads <clears throat> um otherwise <laughs> i did enjoy making it although uh, i was very sad to see that the silver the hedgehog like there the the next stream the uh part of it was silver part of it was sonic the audio was just fucking garbled the entire time i'm not really sure what happened um i don't know if it's just my local recording or like what but Oh my god, the audio in that one was not very good. And I'm trying to avoid that uh, moving forward. I, I don't know what caused it, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see about making the Castlevania mobile game as the next one. Um, that one will be fun. And of course, I'm going to be... I'm going into production on uh, not just one, but three actual, like, video videos that are more than just like stream highlights and stuff here soon um i've started a script for one review and it's going to tie into two more um i don't know how long those will take probably about a month each if i really apply myself so um, those will be fun so look forward to those yeah silver did grab the recording software i just hope the rest of the uh, six streams aren't like that um, currently, I think the only plans I have for 06 is doing the glitch stream and some of the DLC. Because the Silver and the Shadow streams, not really a whole lot interesting happened during them. They were just, uh, going through the story and talking about the game some more, so, um, 
yeah, that's that's probably where I'm going in the future with Sonic highlights. And of course, Rush is on my peripherals as well. So we'll we'll see how that goes. I can't promise I'll hit monthly uploads for like the stream highlights for Sonic 06 and stuff like that because they're really long, but I did I did the glitch. That one is in the compilation of glitches. Um we'll just have to pull it out. Oh shit. I have this battery on my desk and I need to throw it away. But it's just sitting here. Anyways, um... Yeah, I think that's everything. Discord link down below. I'll be making a Twitter account, but I'm going to need a... Like, an icon for it. I'll probably just make it, like, Alucard or something. Um... Yeah, two Sonics on screen is normal for that game, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Um, thank you guys for joining me for Castlevania for a while. That was fun. Um, I'm enjoying Dawn of Sorrow a lot more now, so. We'll see how it goes as we move onwards through the game. But for now, that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, yeah, good night, everybody.